fuck gym. Wait, what? what? Have you ever been to a park gym? Park gym? Yeah, park gym. Yeah, yeah, park yeah. Gym. Oh yeah, Wingate. Yeah. All right, no. Yeah. Get the extensions. All out. right, for, <laughs> for those who have. <laughs> For those who have, can you tell me your experience? What was your What was your experience like in that park gym? Every week. And how old were you? Doing? Who did you see? Things of that sort. I want to know this. That's every fine. every every week was like carnival, yo. Because being being at the time, it was for it was Brooklyn for me. We had Wingate Park, so every one the Mondays or whatever, mm-hmm. we used to go out there and vibe out. So. It didn't oh matter God. where he was from, everybody was out there yeah. just catching the vibe to whatever artist came to perform. Thanks. So it, it, and at them times, at them times it was it wasn't beef like that. It was like if you didn't like this youth over there, then there was a problem. But other than that, nah, it, shit was vibes, uh-huh. it was vibes. Shit, you know what I'm saying? We went to off that was that, that was like church. Shit so always popped off. Off. Shit it's popped Brooklyn. Off it's Brooklyn. Time, time, all right, all right. So tell me, tell me what was the first. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh-huh, go ahead. I was saying. Uh, no, go ahead, my brother. Pro- Prospect Park um, concerts every summer. Oh, yes. Every sir. summer. Prospect okay. Park. All, the last one I went to, too. I went to the um the loud, the loud one, man. That shit was dope, too, man. A lot of people was there, man. That was a great event, too, man. That was like the last one. Like All of the ones in Prospect Park, because, you know, they got Celebrate Brooklyn. So they have them everywhere. Not. Not just in Prospect Park, they be in Tompkins over there. It be moving all around Brooklyn. You can oh, yeah. those live performances. All around, all around. It's moving all around Brooklyn. Different artists go to different parks. To different Every parks. Mm-hmm. That shit yeah. was lit, bro. Oh my god! COVID slowed yeah. went up. I know that. Right, so, crazy. So, so tell me, what was your what was the first hip hop song that made you fall in love with hip hop? Uh, uh, hip hop. Me one. was um. What's, it had um, been Slick Rick. The first the record, record for you? that I really really which Slick Rick song for you? Which Slick Rick, which Slick, which Slick Rick song was you on? Do are you referring to my brother? Yeah, um, I would I would say that children's story. Yeah, children's story, bro. Children's story. So one of one one, one oh, that shit, but. The world is yours. You know, right? The world is your. That shit was my shit too. That's that whole album. <laughs> I was young at that time, son. For son, I remember having my first real interaction with a girl, bro. To that slick Rick shit, bro. Word, that was like eighty eight, bro. That's like eighty nine, bro. Thanks, my nigga. I'm gonna okay. you. And she okay. was like thirteen. So what about you, Shane? My first shit. Look, listen. I lived in four seventy Ocean, right? Uh huh. Homeboy, um, Tyrone, Ty, Fly Ty, from Tommy Boy Records. He, mm-hmm. lived, he lived in my building. I know. That Vapors video? Yeah. That was filmed in you my building. Vapes. I was right there. The fact. That's fire. Shan. I seen Big Daddy Kane. That's dope. I seen everybody you could name. I seen. I seen all the cars. Special Ed. Special yeah, Ed. Special Ed. Ed. building oh, across shit. the street from That's me. All right. That's right. Listen. Yeah. You name. You name. Listen. Flatbush is rich, my nigga. Word. Rich. When yes. I tell you, when I tell you, yes. when I tell you, I could go to certain dances anywhere in the country, and certain artists, reggae artists, are certain, walk in there and know niggas personally. Like it's, Flatbush is rich. If I when I tell niggas, yo, I was there when they when they filled the vapors. He's like, you lying, nigga. I was right there, my nigga. What are you talking about? I seen the old exactly. Kids. Cars parked up. Uh, Audi two. What was it? Audi five thousands parked up the fucking block, nigga. That's all niggas drove back then. I was in Volkswagen. Flatbush Facts. is rich, my nigga. Yeah. Rich. Facts. So that I would say that's my first. Facts. That, that's Facts. the one that, that hit me, the vapors. Mm. I was vapors? There. All right. So what about you, young man? Shit, son. I was born in fucking 92. Don't matter when, bro. Mm-hmm. Right, what so is... Your, that's your birth me, in the hip-hop, bro. Give me your first hip-hop. So that's, so that's, you that's your era. Love with that's your era. No matter what you see, bro. That's your error. You came, you came uh-huh. later, so that's what me that That's not what made me start writing. You. you know what I mean? That's not what made me start writing. Something else made me start writing, but that's the first connection with hip hop that nah. knew all I the definitely. lyrics to the verses. I was like six, nigga. I knew all the lyrics to the nigga song, all that, nigga. I knew the yeah. album, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same with me when I was growing up. That was the universe. What song was that you said, my brother? 
What well, um? What nah, the one for me was. Wait, you, he asked me the question, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we want yeah, to know yeah. the first. The first song I actually really liked, like when I first heard like hip hop, it was um, it was Wu Tang, and it was Protect Your Neck. That's fact. Oh, so like in '92. That's crazy. That's when I started rapping. That's around the time yeah, I started rapping. That's around the thing so that started right. rapping. Yep. So, so, like when I was growing up in when I was growing up in my crib and shit, my moms and my pops they would play all type of shit. My mom would be playing um. Oldies. Heard that coming out the womb. What? That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. My mom was playing R and B, old school shit. My grandmother, Temptations, Motown shit. I, I had all that source. But once I mm-hmm. heard just like the dialogue and the fucking way that they would talk and the way they had the fucking kung fu shit in the back, that shit was fucking wild to me. Bro. I ain't never yeah. heard like that in my life. I was a little kid rocking on my couch with my headphones. Yo, I had a fucking Sony boombox. I was mad young with that shit. Had mad tapes of the nigga shit. Like, it was crazy. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Impact All right, so it. my next question to you guys. My next question to you guys is this. Who did you grow up listening to? Who was your some of your favorite MCs? Top five. Who's your favorite MC? Mm-hmm. You want to give me your top five? Give me your top five. I, I ain't Who, doing top five. Fuji rap. Fuji rap. I don't want to do, t- do top you five. You want to give me your top five? You can give me your top five. If you want to give me top five, you can give me one. I'm gonna throw one out, but not in, not in order. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say for I'm gonna say right. this right, is wait 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 wait. wait. Are we talking? Man. What are you talking ahead, all go time? Go I should have referred to you. You talking? You talking? I love you, man. Big Pun, Big Daddy Kane, Rakim. That's that's four, right? You said Big Daddy Kane, Rakim, and who else? Rakim, Rakim, and who else? Because what you're talking about is like lyricists. <laughs> right? You're talking about lyricists, hardcore rap. Jay, Jay. Okay. Jay. You hear you hear you hear it, you hear it, people. That's his top five. Okay. In no order. Okay. All right. In no order. I, I'm, I wanna go with I want I wanna go with the young boy. I wanna go with the young boy next before right, I go so to anyone else. So for me, my top five. One is Biggie. Nas, okay. DMX, mm. rest in peace. He was healed forever. Be my favorite. Uh, Method Man. I like mm. Method Man a lot. That's as far as like style and everything. Really interesting. That's, that's, that's how it's different. It's very that's interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's very um, interesting. And yeah. Fifth, yeah. And fifth for me. I would definitely say Jay. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go over it again. Well, let's go over it again. Yeah. The first one. Who's the first the, one? The first one was Nas. You said Biggie. Nas. I mean, no. The first. The first one. The first one was Biggie. Then you said Nas. Nas. Was Nas. Yeah. Meth. Yeah. X. 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 And and J. And J. I got you. Okay. Uh, so, I, shoot, I, I, do you want to go that. next or you want me to go to Ross? It don't matter. Um, Ross. Yeah, you can't matter. Go to Ross. And see, okay. yeah, I knew you. I knew you. I knew you want to give me the finale. So, go ahead, Ross Goldie. Come on. Yo, me, Cool G Rap, mm. Big L. Mm. Can't go wrong with that. Kane, can't go wrong. Kane from my old school. Can't go Kane. wrong. Yeah. Wow. I rock. I ain't gonna front. I rock with Gangstar. That's my dog too, man. R.I.P. R.I.P. Okay. Guru. Guru. R.I.P. R.I.P. All right. Yo, all right. Yo, all right. Okay, Wuda. Yeah, now. Okay, Wuda. Right. So look, now. My top five now. All right. Let me see. I, as far as inspiration goes, I'll give two fives because I got as five people, like, I could go five people that inspire me. As far as music goes, I could do as far as music goes that inspire me. You gotta be extra. Right. I'm gonna go with. You gotta be big, extra, man. We just need, we just I'm gonna need go with one list, man. We Biggie. everybody else in the option, Biggie. I'm gonna go with Biggie. <laughs> Biggie's number one on the and list. It, Biggie's the person. Good I'm gonna go with Biggie. Biggie is number one. Biggie is the person that made me pick up a pen. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So 
I go Biggie first. Mm. Um, I go with Nas. That's I go with Nas next. Nigga. I go with Nas next because you know what I'm saying like mm. in finding myself musically, you know what I'm saying Nas was an assistant in that too. You know what I'm saying especially with a lot of depth and things like that. I ended up getting on the J a little bit later. Person that was really influential to me too was, was Prodigy, bro. He was like one of the nicest mm. niggas, bro. Prodigy, oh, R.I.P. Yeah. Prodigy, yes. bro. So you know what I mean. He's one of my top five niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean. I'm just on the war on them too. Um, yeah, Prodigy is in there. Um, Jay Z most definitely is in there. And um, my fifth. Okay. And my fifth person would be um. My fifth per- person would be um. So was that one? Um. So I, I, I can't go wrong with any pick that I go there, but um. Let me see, man. Just give me one second, bro. That's a definitely a tough one, bro. Okay. Yeah. Um, we gonna go to the young lady yeah. that, that joined the chat. Yeah, I come back. Y'all could come back to me for my fifth, man. I about the fifth one, bro. I ain't you know gonna front that fifth one. It's hard. Now, I think about the fifth one, bro. You That's know what I mean? Anybody hard. I put in there, I could put no, X there. Right. People there. So, so Norcia, 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 are you are you are you willing to participate in this in this question? Where she at? She, oh, mm. All right, I guess not. So, <laughs> but um, oh, we got. Oh yes, I, I, give me your top five. Nah, she said Nas. She she said said Nas. Nas is one. Who else? You got four more to go. You got four more to go. I might be. I like how Nas is. Everybody, everybody lives. Well deserved, though. Yeah, four That's dope. I mean, we got, we got a lot of hip hop. It's a lot, bro. It's a lot of hip hop. Yeah, look, look, look. yeah. yeah look, I created hip hop. I give it the X. I put X in that spot. I created hip hop. There's nobody else I can give it to besides X. Of, of it being 47 years, you know, we celebrate the youngest genre of, mu- of music, which is hip hop. Mm-hmm. We celebrate 47 years of hip hop. So this is why I believe hip hop raised us from zero to maybe, let's say, seventy five. Oh, we yeah. got Busta right. Rhymes. Hold on. We got some more Busta Rhymes. DMX and Nas. She said, "Yeah." It depends yeah. on okay. the categories too. If you're talking about lyricists, oh, no. unmentioned, Kumo D. It's way more one of the nice ones, though. It's, it's come more, on, that's son. Kumo D. Technical. So- we yeah, wanna get too, too technical. Yeah, yeah. We wanna get too technical. We, we gotta save that for a later That's, date. Yo, you know, you wanna you wanna dissect spell? She said salt and pepper. Yo, give it up for the ladies. Yo. Give it up for the ladies. Salt and pepper. Give it up for the ladies. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah, give it up for the ladies. You know, I'm gonna they shit. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share the first that made me fall in love with hip hop. When I came to this country, it was a song called The Message. That mm. song told me everything about New York. Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right. It did. It did. <laughs> you know, I, well, that was what New York was at that time. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. The Message. That gave you that was the my song, description bro. you could ever get. Da, 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 That's my favorite song. Da, 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 da. Crazy. Yo, top five. Yo, I'm way too hard though. But me personally, me personally, I don't have a top five. Reason why? Because it's too many of them. It's too many, bro. And I just can't narrow it down. Nobody said black thought. Come on, hi. See what I mean? Black thought. I mean, there's a lot of people. Okay. I thought about him though. I thought about him. I thought about Andre. I thought about Andre 3000. Look, I thought about that nigga. Whoa, look, 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 I, like, I like people. I like people that people pay a price may not even even heard of. Like Devin the dude. Sure. Like I, I went through I went through different stages in my life where I, I seen things, I traveled, I hustled from places. So I got the chance to experience it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Devin the dude is dope. See, see, I, I, I'm gonna tell you another person who's dope. Uh-huh. I'm gonna tell you another person. Twister, really nigga. Dope. Twister. Ever heard of Ray Cash? Twister. Oh, Twister. No, you ever heard of Ray Cash? That, 
Adrenaline Rush yeah, album? Yeah. I, think, I, I don't think I heard that name before. Ray Cash is hard. Yeah, I heard him. Yeah, Ray yeah. Cash. That boy was hard. He was so hard. You know who, you know who was good? Son? Um, Cat One. You know me? Cat One was hard. But you know, you... you Razzcast. What about Razzcast? That nigga was nice. Solo on Ice. Razzcast. What are you talking about? That album was fire. Razzcast, Solo on Ice. Oh my God. Yeah. That album was fire. Let me tell you. Yeah, Richie Rich. Let me tell you, fam. When I got there, I was was dealing with the reggae. reggae? I was dealing with the Mm -hmm. reggae sound thing. You know what I'm saying? I was dealing with the reggae sound thing, and my boy was like, yo, dead with all this, because, you know, at the time, the vibes was just stuck to reggae. So yo, come over here. Let's do. I try to host it. I did. I hosted the party one night, and they was like, "Yo, from there, you rocking." And I rock with. This you fell in love with it. I rock with my team for like ten years. We had mm. this party here one once a month called Face Off Fridays, and mm. you could go on YouTube, look up Face Off Fridays. That's my. That's my. That's my voucher right there. But you go on Face Off Fridays whenever. You you seen Fife Dog, rest in peace. DJ was Fife's manager. Five Dog. Fife Dog's manager. They recently just dropped the nutshell video with Redman and Buster. It was, it was a know, dope video. Real dope video. Look, the crazy, crazy thing is that right. half, half, of the, half of the people that I grew up listening to, fam, came through to this party. They used to come through to this party. I've been and I might feel somebody dust my shoulders off or something. I turn around and I see somebody. I done seen Sadat X. I done see Lord Jamal. And turn around, I see drama over there. There was mm. one event, right? He was in the building. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ninth Wonder, J. Period. I done. I, I, there's footage. There's, there's footage on there where there was a time Talib Kweli was in Atlanta to come do a show. Yeah. Got a party. And just randomly, he performed. We got full oh, footage uh-huh. of like seven minutes, seven minutes of son just performing, you know, randomly off of vibes. Yeah, and it was like that just showed me the way the way uh, Atlanta is right now is kind of like how New York was when we was growing up. They embrace music, fam. Yeah, yeah that's they do. Fam. They, they that's have they them do. underground parties. They have them underground parties where you could go in and you'd be like, yo. Like real hip hop, like people embrace that hip hop. There's, there's so much different sections. You want to be in the rock, you want to do the EDM, you want to do this. It's out there, you know. And don't sleep on that lane either. Mm-hmm. EDM, come on, man. I used to make money off of water and orange juice at these parties, fam, just because they come to here. <laughs> they want to see flashing lights, and they 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 might listen. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's Walker's song? Go hard in the paint. They Great got that shit. EDM version, man. If you see these kids go crazy, just flashing the arm. I know he had that um, EDM version to where um let the, where them guns sound. Yeah, where them guns sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yo, I heard crazy. that one time. I'm so cool. Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, so, MOP got the got the sick EDM version. Yeah, that motherfucker. Um, yo. Yo, damn! Yo, there's certain songs, son, that will never you could bust that anywhere, anytime. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm talking about songs 20 years old, my nigga. You could bust anywhere. That MOP shit. Basically, anyway, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. definitely one of the remix. One of the dopest. That's a, that's a universal. Stuff. That's a universal. Fuck up the club tune. It doesn't matter where yeah, you yeah, play yeah, yeah. it, 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 what what domination is but in you know, the club, you know, any up is gonna you know, fuck up some things. No matter the way that yo, the way that right, different that. eras, right? A different era. A different era. Let's speak about the time you first time you heard Onyx. Oh my god. Damn, in a yo. club or just heard it? Just, the club is different. just heard him, just heard him, period, just like. Just that energy, that wave, like I was going, 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 going to high school and shit. A lot of people were wearing ball heads, bro, back then. Yo, for real, we was cutting. Again, I was still younger on that time. But when them niggas came out, oh, that's when that was still in my process. That's when you know what you were listening to. Fucked up to that shit. Yeah, you know what song you was listening to? Quality. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Last yeah, days. I'm talking that about was last days. Shot skills. Rest in peace. Shot skills. Rest in peace. Shot skills. That's a fact. Onyx like last days. Yo, Onyx yo, last yo, days yeah, probably yeah, my favorite yeah, Onyx song. Yeah, last days is my favorite Onyx song. Not that I throw your guns at you. That's my favorite. That's my favorite Onyx song. Last days. Whatever. Yeah, that shit dropped. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. That beat. Yeah, that beat is fire. 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 Yeah, that beat Fight too. Uh-huh. No, that shit was fight too. My bad. Yes. Oh. That shit was fight. Hey, I'm not gonna hold yeah, you. That was fight. Them boys, them boys can rap. Hell yeah. Them boys can rap, yeah. rap. Yeah, they can. You know, people, people used to sleep on Sunny Caesar, but that boy could rap. Nah, son, dope. Sunny Caesar. Sunny Caesar. That boy could rap. That boy was nasty, nasty, bro. Word, son. He was nasty, son. I just like I just like different niggas though, but I just remember a time when them niggas came out. Like, them niggas wasn't created a, a whole type of vibe in New York like City Biggie? at the time. Son, when Biggie dropped, bro, to me, man, yeah, that shit, Grammy. To me, that shit was Grammy, but they they started getting that shit was just crazy when Biggie dropped, bro. What was the vibe like when 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 Bobby Schmurda and 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 then came um, home and Robbie came home. And all these, and, and, and what's homeboy name? That, R- Rowdy? That, um, Casanova and all. What, what was the vibe like in, in Brooklyn at that time? You know? Well, when they got booked? all got on? When they got booked? Uh, yeah, like when they got on. Oh, no, shit was up. When oh, they got on, got like, booked. Nah, it was lit. It was lit. I was around by the end of the was lit. It was lit. It was lit. Everybody was doing them. When he got booked. <laughs> nah, the, en- the energy was up. The energy was up because, especially being them, I used to be around. I used to be in the studio with them over there and shit, like in the fifties. And his mom that she was being called Rel. You know what I'm saying? I ended up writing a record for Rel. You know what I'm saying? And the record took off, and Rel then he bounced on the moms and all type of shit. But whatever the case, but the mom had came to me and asked me, Bobby's mom. You know what I'm saying? Her name is Mama. Mama Schmur. But um yes, yeah, write um could I write a record? And I wrote an R and B record for him because he was a singer. He went actually viral for just singing a cover of Bobby Schmurder's um hot nigga. He sang an R and B hot nigga. Drive me. He sang the shit. He sang the shit and he went viral, mm-hmm. son. What? He sang the shit and went viral and then got up with his mom and his mom's was managing son or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But I just remember being around the energy. Crips was up. Everybody was up. Jordans, everybody jiggy. Everything going. The energy was up, son. Then I also remember yeah. when they got back. The I remember when they got back to go to the studio and how that vibe was just dwindled. Like when they got back, because I had to go back to that same studio over there. That's before they closed down the studio. Plug, plug from Flatbush got the studio over there in the 50s. Yeah. That's where they recorded all of that. Computers, all of them records were recorded right there at that studio. My man that lived right now in Beverly, he the one who produced Bobby Bitch. His name is Bonkers. Salute the Bonkers oh, if he watching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Bonkers. Boy. He produced a couple of records on my project. That'd be crazy as hell. He, he produced a couple of dope records on my last project, too. You know what I'm saying? He When he made Bobby hey, Bitch, he him, let man. me hear it. He was like, yo, shout out to this record. Him, yeah, shout Bobby out to, man. Shout hey, out yo, to Bonkers. If you watching this, B-O-N-K-A-Z. go hit the, the Z. Hit the bell. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And hip hop raised me the blog. We already you know, have I'm okay, like, like, yo, I'm like, yo, quality. That's so bad. To the next. It's different, right? Like, yo, hold on, homeboy live wet. I'm like, yo, homeboy, I'm like, the whole church have is lit. It's lit, bro. Lit. It was lit, bro. Still not, lit. Not, you, know, you know the crazy thing is? It was like, that shit got everybody was right here. <laughs> <laughs> In one sense, like, well, Every, like, right, right. everybody that got on, okay. mm. like, up, it seems nah, like, listen, right. listen, listen, we got, it's, it's, it's not even six end. degrees like, of separation, right? Mm. It's not even six degrees of separation with these guys. We talking about people that we actually know, like, Man. we God. know them, we've seen them, we see them. I got a whole song talking about that shit. Mm. I said, first wink, got on. Bobby and Ray got on. Fresh and Designer got on. Casanova got on. And, and you know the crazy uh, thing? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> never mind. 
But you know, you know, it's what it was, man. Y'all can hear this? Can y'all hear this right now? Y'all hear that? Hey. Oh. Yeah, they got the elevator. I ain't even bring out the roadcaster. I ain't even put no <laughs> Come on. Come on. Cook up. I'm gonna play another record for you. I don't want to play this one. I'm gonna play something for you. This world premiere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all my world niggas they be getting that breeze. Take your baby moms and treat it like a tree. Sheesh. Fuck niggas talk war and then they scream peace. New to it. I already I think you, I think you need a icy man. I think you need the icy man coming down the street scraping the ice with all the, the, the flavors yeah. on the top. This, hold on, this is the new, this, this is the new world. Yo. Man, I boy, you niggas wasn't on the block. Bitch, give me the thunder. Stuck on the phone, she frowning. Just a young thug, like he got. Peter Piper, Peter Pack, peppers and he bought them. Jalapenos for the summer. I can rock it in my pocket, pocket super thunder. Shit, the blood on my pillow, my dog, my dog is my niece. Christian Louboutin, Christian blood under my seat. Mike and Mary push the line, and we finish. Shut him up. Baby, send me to the dentist. And it's a rap. Like a rap of my I give you a ball like a sentence. Like don't mention, don't mention. Me? No, no. Baby, don't mention. 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 Baby, don't Niggas talk war and they scream peace. Too late. I already done let the dogs off the leash. Oh, nigga, we don't do the lease. Nigga, I've been on road, they ain't seen me in weeks. I swooped in, they speak. Hold up, 10 toes down, nigga, wasn't no leaks. All the shit I've been through made me a beast. Got my ex. So I'm, you know she mad we don't speak. Shit. Going bad got me feeling like meek. Kinda see the kill, nigga. Love make you weak. Shit. McQueen on the feet, nigga. Sent on the fleece. Shit. Let's get uh, it. Go on y'all back uh, way before the release. Shit. Hold up, hey. why need go when it rise like yeast? The hate getting thick and I just sitting on my eyes, smell a stench. Yeah, Mike the door with the trench. Hit him with the drip till she drenched. All about weed like I'm French. Whole team bowling fuck a bitch. Like we in the play about the clench. About to hit the shit about the park. This this time I'm going for the fence. Oh, all my niggas they be getting that. Cooking. Yeah. Cooking. Up. Yeah. Cookin'. Okay. yeah well, Y'all got you in a you in a zone. Zone. Zone, cooking, zone, bro. Zone. cooking, bro. Cooking, bro. Cooking, bro. Cooking, most definitely. This record, zone, like this, zone, is bro. shit that you would like. You know what I'm saying? I got some shit like this. Hey, yo, you got that, that right new, there. Bro. That's I that new. That's that new. See me no this right here is called Gone Already. Been waiting for me, and I'm right at the door. Sometimes people holding you back don't know you gone already. Shall we move on? And your sister kicked you pregnant as foul as your mom's. And your dad kicked you in Halo out with cops on the horn. And your brother said, that's fucked up. He said, I think you should go walk out the door. Won't see us no more. Guess who was wrong? Was in that shelter as you on. I came back to that shelter and guess who was gone? 
Took my baby from me. All I know is that God is great. When the rain drops, we'll place the sunny days. And the money goes, but the honey stays. I don't expect y'all to stay with me. Gone after stay with me. If you want to go, I think you should go. Walk out the door. Won't see me no more. The industry waiting for me. And I'm right at the door. Oh, shit, I'm already gone. Ah, if you want to go, first broke for the girl, then this one's for the block. Cause niggas be trying to hold you back. Every time I hit the block and I make a cook up, it's clear. It's just something that they feel. Fear. If you win, they think they lose, so they don't want to share. But sometimes people hold you back, they want you near. But I'm gone already at the telebus in Dom already. All the birds flying south, shit, they gone already. Probably in the south by now, long gone. I should be on a million already. Guess who was wrong? Thought I could trust you, nigga. Guess who was wrong? Learn who you are around bitches, and the lesson was long. You said something about investment. I guess cash was our bond. Said your investment, I'll invest in this song. Look, the friendship sell. Say so long already. Lock me up, I made bail, bitch. I'm gone already. Can't hold me, I'm giving away these long jones already. And a Jack Mac and a soup. And shit. I pop my wrist, love steak from Ru Chris. Hold up, nigga, let me talk my shit. Cause when you in that cell on the cold days, saying please, Lord, forgive my old ways. Yeah. They say you get your flowers when you're living. Shit, I guess this why, nigga. Go, I think you should go. Out the door. Won't see you no more. The industry been waiting for me, and I'm right at the door. Shit, I'm already gone. I think you should leave. If you want to go, I think you should go. Cooking, man, that's good. Okay. Already, man, you already know. Find that on Uda Blue, man. We cooking up. No, no, I, I, hey, yo, this is. I wanted to sh let y'all know that that's that's roast the rapper, roast the mm -hmm. rapper. You know, he he's one of the dopest MCs you ever gonna ever ever gonna cross. His know. name is Roast the Rapper for Appreciate a reason because he be roasting these rappers. Yeah, Appreciate it. Put him in the doing it. Any rapper, you roast them. I'm doing it. Hey, yo, I can play something. I can play something for y'all. Play it. I wish you sent it to me. I can play that shit live. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. This you is should going send on it to my email. You should send it to my email and I could play it live in. I could probably play it through the roadcaster live. Out, you know what I'm saying? And clear, like how that record does it, it'll sound the same way. Oh, all right. I was about, I was saying, I how do you, you can play? Let me, let's hear our sound. Let's hear it. If you don't, if you want to play right, it. Let me see. Let me see. You can check it either way. I got you. All right. So this shit is called Marathon. I got it exclusively on to be um, my man's dapper, Canada. He had um, produced it. And this shit just dropped us on iTunes, Spotify, it's everywhere right now. Uh, hey, y'all can hear it? Yeah, I hear that shit crispy. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah. Running my mind, I know every day. You don't work on the interest and never work on shit. I smile big, now I'm working double the shit. Running purpose every day, nigga, stack your brick. Open my own police game, shine on switch. Get up. Life on me, only spent too much time on me, worrying about the wrong shit. Got on my blind, on me. Oh, I got this bag going now to make the shit. You ain't talking work now, it's ready to dick. Yeah, I've been running late on my nine hour shifts, working for better days. Them niggas really talking now. I just sound I'm here to embrace it. And yes, trust is always the product, baby. Niggas is bothers. And now we just know the words that they say. All my brown and shit that move me. Hold this chain and won't break the links. Can't forget it. Gotta find a way. Who the family eat? No use. Keep it brief. Cause you let play it. It's been going down like crazy. Laughing, never crying. Later, stay out the way. Ain't nothing to cut. Nigga, like a taper from now. Oh. Turn this short and labor do ups and downs elevator. I'm still around. They thought that fake shit would place the sun is still fucking in your luck. You don't work on your interest and now won't work on shit. I 
swell, working double the sh- Building progress every day, nigga, stack your brick, yeah. Game shot, don't squish. Spend too much time, homie, worry about the wrong shit. Move a stick and look around. Keep the gyms and lose the focus. There's no circus for the clowns yet. Making sure hot niggas out and drawing. I just said loud and I'm gonna know it. Only team money. Yo, these things are boring. The play with the money is time to start boring. The plan on my boys, these niggas they want. Start shit, put it stolen. Dribble with a poop within. Well, look, nigga, that's my point. RP bad boy, RP Sessor. So, Shabby be my protector. Ain't none of that just. I don't fuck with niggas. Now, what they don't know. Both is coming first with you person. This gon' burn you slow. Clean the sim. Time to blow up. Bring us out the blimp. Big bobs, we ain't rolling skips. No part time work. This ain't no tip. You don't know me chatting. No me need the mind your neck. We ain't with the phony. You were landed. We on to the next. That shit too full. Won't be excused. This shit we don't accept. Live for peace or live for bread. Put yourself to the test. That's why I'm running my man. Then I repeat it. You can work on your interest, and I will work it. That's why I've been up working double the shifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This game shot on switch. And double life on me, only when you go get. Spent too much time, only worry about the wrong shit. Yeah. Got on the ground, homie, to the back. Yeah, I can. That's cool. Yeah, that shit is dope, son. I like that shit, bro. The vibe on that shit. I like the production. Okay. I like Like the production. That's from less from quality. Yeah. Quality, quality. Um, let the people know where they could find your music. That's a fact. Y'all can find me at quality on all platforms. Q U A L I T I. Y'all find me anywhere. Quad quality. Basically, King's quality. Instagram, Facebook, it's all the same. YouTube, King's quality, it's all the same. I go find okay. me everywhere, man. I'm just dope. in the way. That's dope. Okay, man. okay, okay. So what 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 inspired you? What inspired you to do? What inspired me to want to do music was being a simple fat. I grew up in the crib with seven siblings, my mom, and just you know, I ain't really, I ain't really had a lot of guidance as far as like in my household. So really, you know, I had to take care of a lot of shit as far as like my music was a thing I like fell back to. Granted, I did have a lot of OGs and a lot of people to speak to me and, like, you know, point me in the right directions when I was fucking up and going my way. But I really felt like music just really saved sense of where helping me to express myself and how to control my anger and how to, like, go about how I did portrayal, how I did with disrespect, and how I react to certain situations in every part of my life. So, really, music for me is just. Mm-hmm. It's a big, big, it's a big part of my life because it helps me just extend to that real person to myself because like, I don't be pretending when it comes to this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything that I've been saying is is either something I've been through or things I've experienced. Nothing is fiction, nothing is big. Everything is 100% me. I feel I got to give to the earth. That's what I got to give to the world. As far as like, you know, my real name, my name is Jaqua. So like... Everybody called me Quaddy. Ever since I was a little kid, everybody called me Quaddy. So, you know, um, Quaddy really came from this. Like, you know, not only, not only, not only, my fault, not only do I attack the beat with a certain presence and a certain vibe and a certain impression, mm-hmm. I could be mad, calm, and flip that shit and still make it rhyme and still be on top of the shit and at the same time give you something to listen to. You can put me on the trap beat. You can put me on the boom bat beat. I really feel like that's where I, my peak and I'm really good at. Like, like where I could just like, you know, break some shit down to this form and then everybody be like, oh shit, he said this, he said that. But I think my whole, I think my whole goal, my end goal for all of this shit is to really just Inspired, especially people around my community. I, I've seen a lot of shit, been through a lot of shit. Okay. And a lot of these and a lot of these dudes, man, the crab in the bucket mentality shit uh, is where I feel like, like it fucks up a lot of shit around here because there's always people in competition. And I have to understand creative competition, you know, people all doing it for the right and good cause, but everybody is like worried about for self. And um, okay. I'm not really, I'm not really, I handle a lot of shit by myself. I do. But at the same time, I'm a team player because I take care of a lot of 